Hi, I'm going to show you the Linker Wizard system and what it does to your project uh, when you use it. So I've got a fresh project with Playmaker and the ecosystem and you will search in the ecosystem the Linker and you'll find a sample and the package. I'm going to download the sample because it has a scene uh, which will show you the benefit of using Linker but when you will be um, Okay, with the linker, just download the package, basically. Okay. Okay, so now we have our scene here. This scene is making use of some actions like get property, set property, and invoke method that are using reflection. And the problem when you publish to devices is that some of those component and object type you want to access may not be there when it's compiled by uh, Unity and Xcode. And so you need to create um, a file to explain Unity uh, what to keep when it's publishing. Um, to learn more about this, you can look for Unity Linking XML. And Unity has a whole documentation on why you need this link uh, XML description. And this is how it looks. So if you don't know how to code and if you don't know what this is, this is very uh, scary, basically. So this wizard will create this link XML for you. It's here as an asset in your project. And um, first I'm going to publish this scene so that we can witness the problem in Xcode and then we are going to use this wizard um, and publish it again and see that now the scene works. So basically here, if I play, I'm seeing here all is good, which is a text mesh, a text mesh. But this text mesh is problematic when you publish. And in editor it works, but if I publish here as is, it will not work. So let's find out. Build settings. I'm going to add this scene, yes, in the player settings. I'll make sure I publish for IL to CPP and I should be good. So let's save it into fail. Replace. Okay, so now I've got this um, Xcode project created. Here, this is the one, double clicking here. This will open Xcode. I'm not doing build and run because I found that it's not so, um, it, it, sometimes it doesn't work. So I much prefer building than I know exactly which project I need to uh, open in Xcode. And then here we are going to eat play. So this is going to build for iPhone. And um, I've got my device connected already and I'm using uh, a reflection system so that you can see um, the screen of my device basically. So what you see here is not a simulator, it's the device that feeds the screen back to my computer. Okay, and we can see that uh, we don't get any text on screen. That is, the action we've been using in Playmaker doesn't work here when you publish. And you'll notice that there is no errors fired by Xcode nor Unity that something is not going to work. So if you don't know what link XML is, you're in trouble here. Fortunately, with this wizard, now um, you can fix this and you don't have to know how it works. Basically, you need to follow um, the steps in order to uh, let this system create the link, the link.xml for you. So the first step is to install actions. Basically, those three actions that use reflection within Playmaker um, are updated so that they can tell the system um, what object and what type they are actually reflecting on. So let's install them. This means you don't have to modify anything in your project uh, because uh, only the custom actions are uh, modified. 
Okay, and now what you need to do when you need to will finish compiling, you need to play your scenes, basically the whole project, you need to play it so that um, every time you use those actions like get property, set property, and invoke method, um, it will register itself and tell what it's been using. So here you can see in the preview that we've been accessing the camera, the text match, and playmaker. So um, we stop here, and now I can click on update the linker content. It creates this link XML. You can get it, you can ping it here, and you can select it here. And all this content was then created based on the feedback it got when you played. Okay? And now what we need is simply publish it again. So, build. I'm going to publish it in here. Save. Oh, sorry. Replace. Okay, so now we're here, we open this version of the project and we push it to the device. Okay, so it's finished. And normally we should, yes. So now with just this link.xml added to your project within the assets, Unity and Xcode know what to keep and what you will likely access through reflection. And now you can work with text mesh uh, in your project and publish on devices. Of course, this case is very... It's just to, to highlight one of the worst case scenario you can find when you publish on device and using reflection and using text mesh because obviously now text mesh is not really something you should be using. You should be using the new UI system. However, since it's still there, um, it should be supported properly. So now you can use this linker wizard and it will make things a lot easier for you if you've been working with get property and set property a lot uh, within your project. Make sure that you run your scene and your game all the way. That is, here I've only been uh, using the start state. But if, for example, you're using get property in a wing screen, which happens only after the user played several levels, you need to go through those levels yourself and reach that win screen so that the get property or the set property that is using a specific object and a type registers itself to the linker wizard so that I can know what you're accessing uh, over time in your project. It's it's very complex topic, so if, you've, if you have questions, don't hesitate to use the forum and get back to us in order to explain something in details you may not have understood. Okay, thank you.